fucking mm. fucking Kisler again. <laughs> it's fucking Kisler again. <laughs> played three, played them three times, got three draws. Hopefully this time can finally win, but they'll have a fucking wizard. Don't have a claw pommer. Oh, it's Javelin, I know the name. Has he played in the playoffs before, maybe? Or something? A movement nine oh god, he's got a he's got a leap he's got a two plus leap good runner. Fuck off. <laughs> There's no need for that, is there? Holy shit. I guess I've got a movement eight beast man, but still. Oh he's not got that much money. Four, five, six, seven. Five, nine, he's got 12 in. You can still get a wizard though, can't he? She's still oh, fucking. Kids live with a wizard though. There's no need, is there? Javelin's in OCC. Maybe I played him in the OCC. Season one finalist. Criticised him a fair bit. Ah, oh, right, there you go then. There you go. Criticise everyone. To be fair, Ducky, criticise everyone just because it's easier to criticise people, isn't it? <laughs> oh, wow, he went for Silly Billy. But he's Kislev. Why did Kislev have Silly Billy? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Well, he didn't get a wizard. I'm happy about that. Like, as, as, as good as Silly Billy is. Um, yeah, they can roll dice, can't they? And you can't stop them rolling dice. That is the problem. They're not the worst possible matchup at all. When, especially when they've got a wizard. And a fucking movement nine. And a fucking movement nine. Uh, yeah, I know that. I know the answer, yeah. You know, it's just a joke. But... Um, the wizard is is killer with them, but he hasn't got a wizard, so they're a lot less terrifying without a wizard. Obviously, I think he should have taken the wizard just quietly. He's only got eleven players. Only he's got twelve. Ah, so it gives him a twelve player as well. Do I kick? He's got a one turner with that fucking movement nine. Let's kick. He doesn't have a frenzy, does he? Wrestle frenzy, tackle mighty blow. Yeah, kick, kick and try and get rid of either Silly Billy or... Uh, yeah, it's funny, isn't Eric behind me? Yeah, I think got a kick and then... You know, hopefully he's not going to make four removals on the LOS with just one mighty blow. And that gives us the whole, t the whole game to get rid of his one-turner, doesn't it? 15 turns to remove the one-turner. I mean, they're obviously way better when they've actually got block and stuff. When they've got some block and wrestle, they're a lot better than when they don't, aren't they? Obviously. Like, they're a horrible starting team.
probably just because it it, um, it it conflicts with their IP, doesn't it? Uh, just Joe, because Slan and Warhammer are uh, big, big frogs, aren't they? That sit in a sit on a throne, um, and they're just you know they don't want that confused with little leapy slang. Yeah, they're just wizard or beast frogs, yeah. Guard, the standard guard catcher it doesn't have block though, does he? So can maybe hurt him. I'm just gonna base everyone here. I'm just gonna have dirt base, base, base. Spacey Fago taking the LOS hit like a champ. He's thinking about rerolling this, isn't he? Because he's got four. Oh, he, he both down on all balls, did it? What a madman. <laughs> what an absolute madman. Guards in and strength and mech. I'm gonna move my eight guy back. Thanks, Grizzle. Hey, Spacey Fago rocking it. Space Frogo. AG5 is basically cheating, yeah. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't actually have. He's only got one mighty blow, so I could. Uh, I could foul people here. This half. If Spacey Fagor survives. PBRC. <laughs> <laughs> Is there ever, ever a really good reason to bolt down no balls? Well, there can be, can't they? Obviously, if he's six squares away and he's moving six, and you can bolt down him. So he definitely can't score on the last turn. Stuff like that. But yeah, mostly it's not. I mean, even even against uh, fucking, you know, 
skinks. People people do it against skinks a fair bit just because if you remove them, it's it's so good, isn't it? And, but yeah, generally not, obviously. Went hard in that side, but it's easy for me to switch sides as well, isn't it? I really hope this isn't a 16 past leaps one. 16 past uh, leaps and one failed one like the other game against them. Yeah, block pathing, yeah, that's a good point. J5, yeah, this is going to be one where he just makes every leap, isn't it? I can, t I can already tell. I can already tell that this is a pass every single leap game. say skinks are one of the few ones where it's there's a there's a decent amount of uh, reason to do it isn't there let me just put two guys on him Blitz, silly Billy. Want to blitz this guy though? Oh, I've got a mighty ball here. I'll put him and try it to dice him. Because if it's a power, this one, this one becomes three dice, doesn't it? Got him. Coldy. Yeah, strength four, actually five woodies, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not playing bubble two and Nintendo. <laughs> no, it's on a laptop. Um but yeah it's it's not ideal obviously. Didn't put enough in the side, did I? I guess this guy should have stayed in contact and this guy should have maybe gone up there as well. Maybe should have got them two in, in this line. Stop them getting assists on there. If he, if he does commit down one side though, I can slam in really hard now, can't I? Which is good. It looks like he is committed now. Even though he's got leaps, but 
If you're both downs with this loner, that'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? If he fails his GFI. Every three plus leap successful so far. <laughs> I hate that you've got to escape out of it as well. Fuck's sake. If someone should write a guide on beating Kislev and it should be watch as they fail three plus leaps ever. You didn't even stand up. Him, that's bizarre because that lets me slam in really hard. I don't want to over pursue, I guess, but still. So you can get the bottom there. Oh, I didn't need an assist. That was pretty dumb, wasn't it? Got to get an assist when I hit a shithead Skaven, Kislev lineman. How does he even switch this? I don't think it's easy for him. Could just dodge people with cage up down here. Maybe just have a safety. Just score. I think he'd be better off waiting a turn to score or two if he can. He failed one, but he rerolled it, didn't he? Man of rage. Says that up. So maybe I should have made that GFI. I was thinking about making the GFI to get to there. And then that would have stopped the assist on that block, wouldn't it?
But everyone's based up now, so he's really only got the two catchers that can do anything, hasn't he? Reliably. That's a bit tricky. He's gonna level him up, is he? Can always double one this. Oh, maybe. Classic in Arian. Yeah, plus two movement. Kislev catcher, yeah, so he's movement nine. He's got a fucking got a runner with a two plus leap, which is pretty good. He's got a two plus leap in for the guard, so he can two dice the ball pretty easily, or one dice if I have guard corners. It was pretty easy to get a one dice blitz in, so it's gonna be not easy. Obviously I'm not gonna do any damage because don't have a claw pommer. Kids are pretty decent to be fair against agility teams with the diamond tackle, aren't they? That gives them a pretty good a pretty good play versus uh versus them. Hit him with claw. Tackle might have a little sweep back. This can just go straight ahead. Two in there, blitz him. Two, three, four. I guess the strength four wrestle can hit his wrestle. Which is I can do against a blitz, really, isn't it? And he's got strip, I think. Yeah, he's got strip, so better to carry with a show hands. This one first. It's classic, classic wrestle. There. Oh, a push! Brilliant. Just, just what the doctor ordered. Oh, I could have put the guard in there, couldn't I? Oh, that was pretty bad. You go one on one with another blood ball player. <laughs> you got a 50 50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% at best at beat me. 
Then you add sex to spawners to the mix, your <laughs> chances of winning drastic go down. <laughs> oh my god, outstanding. Thank you very much. Pseudonym, thank you very much for the bits. Holy shit, that's amazing. Um, looks like he's gonna want two dice in wrestle here if he wants, isn't he? But at least I got to fight people a bit. Mm, why did I go this? I could have put gone here. Don't know why I went there. I was crap. Should have gone here and these two guys here. I could have done that. I was just a little bit distracted by listening to the best promo of all time. At best, at beat me. <laughs> yeah, it is the greatest. Um, Hello, Gwenak, and yeah, the it's the best. Uh, it's the best promo of all times by uh, by what's he called? Scott Steiner. Yeah, I should have. Why didn't I go here with the ball? I guess it means I couldn't reach because I had to go there. Don't know. Though. This would have been a much better spot. Much fucking better. Ugh. Don't like that. Do I not like that? He's, he'll just go for it here and get the fucking one dice on the ball. Oh, no, he won't. All right, good. I'll put stand firm next to the ball. Okay. Base the ball. Yeah, that, that's just because I went in the wrong place. I mean, I don't know if it was my fault or not. I don't know if I could have come to a better place. I don't know if I had the reach to get there. I like how he's made, what, about six or seven leaps. Made them all with the help of one reroll. If I go for one dodge here, that nah, would be a four plus, though, wouldn't it? You know it ain't gonna fucking happen. Wish I had Juggernaut. Could go for a handoff to the tackler. But then he's got to strip. This shouldn't be too bad though, should it? To get out of. Right. Hit with mighty blow. First things first, mighty blow block. Good. I think he should have based everyone there if he was gonna. He was going to go all in with the, uh... The GFI. You would have liked to power that lot of the time, never mind. Get a pow. Yeah, good lad. Right, so there's a cage up here, isn't there?
you can just leap in anyway. Uphill though. It's uphill. And Messi leaps in here. So Jimmy, you take your 33 and a third chance. Minus my 25% chance. And you got a 8 and a third chance of winning at Blood Bowl. <laughs> but then you take my 75% chance of winning if we was to go one on one. And then at 66 and two thirds percent. I got 141 and two thirds chance of winning at Blood Bowl. You see, Jimmy, the numbers don't lie. <laughs> That's a true story. Thank you very much. See it on there. <laughs> Maybe it's not, yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? No, he's cleverly put his movement nine guy on the bench. So he's got to get two pushes on him as well, hasn't he? Fuck's sake. Yeah, it was a shit place to put the tackler. Like, that was the only bad thing about that move. It was a fucking horrible place to put the tackler. This guy, unfortunately, it's too good, isn't it? It's literally too too good an opportunity to to pass up. Go, with, go with him for Clawo. I'm five, he's six. So I could put a guard into one dice him. Doesn't have to be a card. A guy in to one dice him. Or a guy in here and two dice him. But then he's still fucked. So he's going to have to dodge at the end. A guy and bases him as well. So he's a shit guy. I can re roll this as well, isn't it? And this is the best payoff, isn't it? Because if it's a if it's a pal, 50-50 to free him is really good. I guess I've got a follow as well, right? Oh, sweet. Really sweet. Get him forward. Or move him out here somewhere. I think he's got to get for, as far forward as possible against against shitty leapy cunts. <laughs> See, 
Sausage Kids. <laughs> it's the H Cage from Steps, this one. Made some actually decent removals, I guess, with two KOs. It's not like, it's not amazing, but better than nothing. This Wrestle Frenzy is never able to surf anyone. Fuck's sake. Don't moan. Yeah, but then he'd have he'd have two turn he'd have one turn to uh get it back, wouldn't he? Which wouldn't be ideal. Tackle to hit him is good. Oh, you failed the leap? Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable, Jeffrey. You failed the leap. Well, I never. Okay. So, chain him. And then chain him out. Him. It's a tackle. Oh, I could have made it three dice, couldn't I? Doesn't matter. Mm hmm. Not ideal. Could just score. But then would he get the uh would he get the one turner is the question. We put the ball here and a guard there. Another guy there. I guess with movement eight I'd have the options to do things. But it's just so easy with the one dice, isn't it? Ooh, block this first, and then it's three dice. For his guarder. He hasn't got block. Alright, so he can't one dice the ball now. If I put the guards. Either side. You could try and dodge out.
So go in there and then go for the dodge out. It's just so easy to get two pushes, isn't it? Hmm. You can't get two dice, can you? You can't get one. Like, you can't get one dice at you on the ball. I don't think you can screen effectively either with him being movement 8, effectively 10. <laughs> Go all the way over there. So it's not easy to uh, screen off the best for Gore, is it? Slick Fisk. Yeah, it's... I don't know. I don't know what it is. It shouldn't be that bad. He's only got drop frames 0.4% here, yeah, which is better than... Often. Silly but he's stunned. Did he double skull there or something? Did he just make a rando block and double skull? That's what he did. He made a rando block not, not appertaining to the ball. This is one surf I can make. Blitz, it's all right. It's all right unless there's a misclick. This blitz. Both down. He's got wrestle. Okay. Surf the bear. Oh, I didn't even look. Shit! I didn't even look down there, even though he had just... It was that irrelevant, him blocking there. I didn't even see... Yeah, he must have... Did he stood up the bear? <gasps> oh, oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's done. <laughs> nice. Nice KO staying out. He's got 10 then for the second half. 3, 6, 9, 10. Should have fouled with Spacey Fagor at some point. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard to foul Kislev because you've got to fucking worry about the ball all the time. <laughs> Never look at things as Andre's play. <laughs> He shouldn't have looked at it there, should he? Because it just it was just an irrelevant two dice block. I mean, I know it. I know it was only one in seventy-two ish to fail, but it was nice. He didn't need a roll, wasn't it? He should have thought about the ball first. I think, even if it was just a 
you know, minus minus two D on the ball with Russell would have been better going for that leap, I think, than going for that block. The minus two D without like on the ball with Russell isn't even that bad, is it? Especially with a reroll. Right, so I could put the guard in there. Oh he's got he's got him on the line now. So we can put the guard in there, and then he can block, and then he can block, and he can block, and we can see what happens. All right, Nico Hulkenberg. He would with those dice, but on the other hand, Wolfback, he could have made that block. He could have rolled six six on the block, and then he could have failed the leap, which on a two two. Which, if he'd made the leap, he would have got the sack. So, you can't just say by the result, um, it would have failed anyway, you know, because it would have changed things, wouldn't it? Let's go the wrestle block on him first. I would have fouled uh, Silly Billy if I'd got a decent shot in the first half. Cheeky Kaz. He wants to stay out in front. I want to have a nice safe cage first. Get guard on the corners here. Don't hit the fucking bear. I can still hit the bear. Now this is looking a lot better in the first half. There's a screen in front of the cage. Classic push. Time for a gym foul. <laughs> Come on, Spacey Fago. A ducky foul. Kaz for no send off. It's just like cheating, isn't it? Does that apply and never look at the paper? Clever. God, that was a sweet foul. Just didn't get the chance to do it first half. That's huge now, isn't it? Huge. <laughs> yeah, pretty much mana raise, yeah, because he, he didn't do a whole lot from the first half, did he? I mean, oh, he did things, though, like, to be fair, he put pressure on the ball with him. Had the made me get like isolate my tackle and stuff to deal with him he did have an effect on the first half obviously not not a good effect but he had an effect on the first half silly ivan <laughs> yeah files are pretty swingy that's the that's why they're a bit of a crap 
crap design, aren't they? They're swinging as fuck. That could have easily been a stun for, or a, a double one and sent off. But instead, it's a it's a casing his best player for not even losing mine. Oh man, frogs into kangaroos, that would have been glorious. For like, they'd be like fash beast men. <laughs> He's still got two wrestle guys, so I can't really target them, can I? Um, so I think it's best to probably... Try to hit the... Guy. Bear with claw. Card everywhere. Put him there actually, get a two assist foul on the Crocs. I don't really want to. But it does make him harder to blitz with the Crocs. assist over there. Not bad. Jim Claw. <laughs> yeah, it also cost him that last turn. That's very true, man. Raise. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But that was his choice. <laughs> it wasn't really, it wasn't really, uh, other, other dice, whatever. It wasn't really, uh, Silly Billy's fault. No, oh, man. The dirty one dicer. Would really like to deal with that. Guard, ta guard catcher. That's probably his best player at this point, isn't it? That guard catcher. <laughs> Massive bear schlong. Yeah. yeah, VIP saw the morning. Yeah, it's supposedly a chain. You can see him. I could put it on free camera, couldn't I? with these stunning graphics this chain is his prehensile tail there you go so there you go he's gone a bit bassy but he hasn't got the players now has he to really do it Super effectively. Ah, oh, he's blitzing. He's going for the old one. The old one dice are into a one dice. Oh, he's leaping. He's going for the minus two on the ball. Ballsy. <laughs> oh, good. Like the sad thing is that he can just keep going for it like a dickhead and I can't really stop him that's the only thing Could maybe blitz him Could blitz him with a tackle
not ideal here, is it? Read this one because the guard, the two plus leap in guard, is quite a threat, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing. Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. It's pretty annoying that you just two plus leap in and stuff. Yeah, I could have done if I'd just done the blitz first rather than the attempting the three dice with a dirty player. If I'd just done the blitz first, then I could have uh, gone for the foul on him. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that would have been better. But I was thinking about the movement nine guy as well and wanted to potentially potentially blitz him. He's going to go for the uphill anyway. Strip ball, show hands. Oh, wow. Good job I didn't have something shitty like uh, extra arms. Surf that guy potentially, yeah. The three dice are in it. No. Oh, because he's there. Alright. Oh, and that's why that isn't a three dice as well. I'd rather three dice him. So that's just two dice him. Go for the surf. Should have consulted the sheet and not gone for the surf. Classic, classic gym surf there. I just need a push from three dice, then a push from two dice, and then he could have gone off. Wasn't wasn't crazy. Blitz the guard catcher, but on the other hand, I could uh, I could blitz that one and then foul him. But also, this gets us further forward.
Meet the guard here, don't I? Which means him there. Follow him, I just keep more shit. Chances are he's going to hit from there and push him here to get people in, so maybe moving here protects better. Protect the ball in it against fuckhead slams. Um, yeah, I think you have, yeah, been ball, and yeah, I think both I got died last game or the game before. Yeah, if I save the if I save the dirty player for the movement guy, that's that would be best, wouldn't it? Elf screening. Classic elf screen. He's missed next game, a crazy Lena. And sadly, tragically, missing next game. While it sucks having a strength four guard out of the picture, it's worth keeping his guy out of the picture, isn't it? Could just three dice this guy. And foul him. I quite like that idea. <laughs> you can't. contact with him, isn't he? An elite gets into there. Randor, wrestle guy. <laughs> Cheeky kill. Dirty player, getting it.
He didn't have block. The catcher didn't have block. Oh no, he didn't have block. <gasps> oh, he didn't have block. Oh God. This is the weakness of not having all skills on, isn't it? I know no one starts with block and that's why I did it, but I still just, just, I don't know. I just didn't register that you didn't have block. <gasps> wow. Wow, that was pretty bad. I was just frustrated not pushing, knocking him down there. I mean, the, the, the one that I re-rolled had block, didn't he? <laughs> but uh, I had block and he didn't. Fuck's sake, what an idiot there. Oh, wow, three dising him was a really good play. <laughs> Fuck. Hey. <laughs> I didn't have the choice there. I've got fucking you. Right, here we are. This is it. This is the game right here. All right. As much as possible on this guy. One, two, four, five. Gotta make a cage here. I guess just got there. So we're going to put the ball there. There, because of him. Try right there. Should be okay. Still think it's worth facing these guys. You could base the edge three guy or give more more assists. More assists. Yes! Yes! Glorious foul. Holy, holy moly. The killer is only missed next game, Conflicts and Milk. He ain't even got blocked, this lad. The fuck out. <laughs> okay.
do another cheeky foul in. Spacey Fagor has been amazing this game, hasn't he? Just quietly. He's been he's been ridiculous. <laughs> he's been absolutely fucking ridiculous. Screen around the cage. Pretty good. Last match he was missing this game. Haven't haven't taken probably haven't taken an armor break this game. It feels like. Amazingly, when you when you make seven removals and don't get any of your players, uh, kids live aren't very good. The biggest thing was the one turner, wasn't it? Getting that one turner removal, holy shit. Good old Spacey Fagor. Tackle has. Ta but ta it's tackle mighty blow, isn't it? It's not tackle, that's the thing. It's. Uh... <laughs> yeah, because they're. I don't know, like they are. They're obviously bad at low TV, but by now he's got some good tools here, hasn't he? Could try for the handoff if it if it wasn't already, you know, if there was a chance of 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 if it was one nil up, I'd go for the handoff. What I was trying to say. Probably could have served in there, couldn't I? One, two, three, four, five. But it wouldn't have. Wouldn't have got to start player points, so would have been absolutely pointless. <laughs> Club heavy series. <laughs> well, it's not really, is it? I mean, he was. It was. It was a pretty lucky game in terms of his his mighty blow not doing anything. My mighty blow doing quite a bit. His uphill blocks not working. It's not like our fucking, you know, it's not like his team was awful or that he was brutally outplayed. I mean, he could have won with that team. Obviously, he wasn't favourite, but he could have won. Especially with a wizard. Which he didn't take. Just quietly. <laughs> but what he should have taken was a wizard. Poor old Spacey Fagor has the game of his life and has to has to get mauled by a bear on the LOS. The best stadium upgrade for Pro Isles, I would say um I would say the one that I've got here. The uh, throw a rock and get the ref or cancelled because the last thing you want as an elf team is you're probably not going to have a dirty player of your own, and the last thing you want is to just get fucking banged on by the other guy making a ton of fouls. Basically, um, here's the thing with good morning, bloody Greek. Here's the thing with uh, with the upgrades is it depends as well, it depends what your goals are, but. Um, in terms of like if you have a wizard stadium you are just going to take more attrition than is standard and if you take an astral granite stadium you're going to take more attrition than standard but if you take elf grass you'll take less so I don't even hate elf grass um, but I like this one because you never get hit by the rock and then your opponents never like you know if you get if Ducky got get the ref against you, you'd feel bad, wouldn't you? Like some random, and not even Ducky, just some random fucking dude with a dirty player can just go off on you with that. Ah, well, I I think, funnily enough, I, that's what I like on a bash team. On a bash team, I'd always take the stopping the riot. 
because elves elves can benefit from the thing as well that's the thing like with a bash team with a bash team if you get the riot you're like great like i can two turn with fucking orcs but if pro elves get a riot they're absolutely 100 percent gonna score aren't they almost certainly gonna score so i don't know i definitely think it's not such a big i think it's definitely riot is definitely better for elves than bash i think yeah. Mighty blow, tackle, blood step, roll plus strength. Yeah, that's pretty good. Thanks for the host, by the way. Yeah, uh, Durham. Six for winnings. Fantastic. Yeah, he didn't make a single armor break. It felt like he didn't. Man, he didn't make a lot of blocks either. But wow, wow, two touchdowns for Steel Fagor, and he gets uh, he gets the level up. Made 32 blocks as well, so he made enough blocks. But just, he didn't have Mighty Blow, did he? He only had Mighty Blow on the uh, on the actual bear. So, but still failing, failing, <laughs> succeeding 0 out of 16 is ridiculous. Really ridiculous. And that is crazy. That, that's a good dice run, isn't it? Fash should be proud of that. One GFI, one dodge, one catch, one pick up. That's pretty respectable amount of risk for Fashbinder. Twelve ones because the twelve ones came on the fucking armor rolls, which were bad for him. Forty percent's probably fine with Claw and Mighty Blow against like a lot of Armor Seven guys. His leaps, thank God, weren't ridiculous. Fill both loners. Made all the GFIs. It's seven dodges. Ah, but they were two pluses. Two pluses with re-rolls anyway, weren't they? Because otherwise he'd be leaping. Yeah, the thing with the wizard is... it, Like, elves do benefit from the wizard more and don't get affected by the wizard as much. So, like, it is good for winning games. But the problem is, you're going to take more attrition than another team, aren't you? And than if you didn't have it, that's just a fact. So that's what I don't like about the Wizard Stadium, even though they can benefit from it. Might get rid of a... Uh, guys, this is a lot of TV, isn't it? 1880, even without any... I guess I'll, I'll spend the 30K now. I'll do it after, I'll do it after the video. Getting there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.